Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we are gonna be showing you how to cut your hair like Brad Pitt in the movie Fury. But what you do need to do, first and foremost guys, is that you won't really be able to do it unless your front of your hair is longer. Now this is way too long, as you can see. And my sides are short, but again, they need to be a lot shorter to go ahead and make it look like Brad Pitt in Fury. Now let's take a quick look at the picture one more time. Notice how the front of his hair is just perfectly just straight and then the sides are faded from about, it's gonna be about a one to about a two right up through here. Now again, it definitely helps when the front of your hair is straight, but I will show you a product to use if the front of your hair isn't as straight. Mine's a tad bit curly right through this area right here. So we'll, eh, if you can train your hair, but sometimes you will need to use a relaxer. So first and foremost, you will need a hair cutting kit. And this one is W-A-H-L Walla, I believe it's called. Just a simple kit. Let's take a little quick here look here. I have all my attachments here, my numbers. And let's go ahead and take a look at my clippers here. Now this is just your basic clipper, Walla. Again, has a little button there to go ahead and extend it or shorten it up there plugs right into your socket here and again we will be using one with a two we'll be go ahead and using the two right up here and again we'll be using the one right through here guys so don't worry I'm gonna show you all that I'm not gonna make this video too long but again here is my one here's my two we'll be using that if you don't want to go that short I will probably be testing maybe maybe a three and four, maybe a two and three, you know, just in case, again, some of you guys might not like the Brad Pitt completely like buzzed. Maybe you guys have like a nasty scar. In that case, leave it a little bit longer here, but it will work just fine. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and start just buzzing it up. And again, guys, I've been cutting my hair. Now it looks very sloppy right now, but I've been cutting my own hair for probably my goodness, seven years, and this definitely saves a lot of money. Now, if you guys have barbers that you enjoy and love, go to them, support them. They need to make a living as well. But again, I save a lot of money doing it myself, and I enjoy it. So anyway, guys, come along. We're gonna start with we're gonna start with a three and four, and work our way down to the desired length. I've never done it as short as a one and two. So let's take it easy first, see what we think, and then we'll proceed. All right, guys, again, you can put your two on here, and you can also adjust it out so it's a little bit longer or a short two. Again, long two, short two. We're gonna go ahead and start with the long two and see how that plays out. And so what we're gonna do, again, guys, we're just gonna come through here, and we're gonna buzz all this out right here, and we're gonna come to about this section right about here, and then we'll stop and then we'll fade this part up here with three. So I'll show you that here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that your long top part is out of the way. So you can either use like a little clip or something like that, a little hair tie. I just make sure that my part is lined up right here, fold it over, and make sure you don't swap up, you know, your nice long top hair. Again, I'm going to be cutting this 
I'm going to probably be cutting half of this off. This is way too long for this hairstyle. But um, again, whatever you desire, you know you could trim a little bit. You could trim a lot. And with these clippers, guys, it's really hard to mess up. Of course, unless the attachment does fall off, but pretty simple. All right, guys, so here we have the, not the finished product, but it's getting close there. And so we have our extended two here and flushed up here. But now this is definitely not something you want, though. You want to blend that in a lot better here. So we're just going to play around with it again. You just want to go all the way up to your hairline, almost like make a line right there. And you want to just come up. And with your attachments, guys, it's pretty easy. You just kind of come right up on there, and it works out really well. Now, again, some of you guys might be like, well, that's that's good for me. I like it nice and short. Now, even notice my beard right here coming up with an extended two looks a lot cleaner right here than it did before, all bushy and nasty. Now, again, we have just our extended two. That's how much side hair I had there, really nasty. But, again... It just blends really nice, and then you take your scissors, you trim a brown in your ears here. Let's go ahead and blend that in, and then we'll get to the uh, the front uh, length part there. But what we're going to do is we're probably going to go... We might even go down a little bit more, just a little bit more. I kind of like this length, this extended two. We might go to a short two, see how that looks, but I kind of like this, though. But we might go a little bit shorter. All right, guys, I went with a short two. Again, cleaned up this area up here. And you're just going to come up right here, guys, and you're just going to literally just go like this. It's very, very simple. Just, again, mark a line right through your hair right here. Fold over your top long hair. Come up and just go like this. That's it. And they'll fade just beautifully, guys. It's not that hard at all. And now we have a short two. Didn't make much of a difference here. And again, just flip-flop your hair out of the way when you're on this side. And then when you come over, flip your hair on over this side. Draw a line right here and let it go. We have the back here as well. And if you guys are a little concerned about the back, it's actually very simple as well. Just take your things and then just kind of right there, you know, just kind of mark off a spot. And as long as your hair is folded forward, you can use a clip again if you need to. Very, very simple, guys. And then you can always trim up the back, you know, right here with a, uh, let me show you. This is what I use right here for my back, just a nice little mirror. I go ahead and crank it like this in the mirror, and then, let me try to get that on camera. There we go, and then I spot my, I spot my neckline, and I can kind of trim that up. If not, I can always have my wife, have your brother, sister, mother, anybody you know. Just go ahead and trim up that back if you want. But I've actually gotten pretty good at uh, use, just using the mirror and the, um, the mirror right here. And go ahead and trimming that on up. So now we need to work on this. This is just ridiculous. Um, some of you guys might like that. I don't like that. It gets in my face at the gym and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Now you ask me, how would you even get it that long? Well, I did like the style because I would trim the sides down very short. And what I used to do is I used to, you know, put a little bit of product in the hair and it would fold back like this on the back of my hair. Now, some of you guys are thinking like, that's stupid. And hey, I'd probably have to agree with you, but I thought it was cool at the time. I still think it's a little bit cool, but anyway, I want to trim that down a little bit now. You know, have a little bit, kind of a little business up front, a little party in the back, you know, kind of like a mullet, but, uh, you know, a little bit more, more stylish. So anyway, guys, we're looking good. I mean, just right there, that literally took me less than 10 minutes with cleanup, maybe 15, and I mean, we're looking so much better. Again, the beard is trimmed up right here, the ear lines. I haven't even trimmed the ear lines yet, and literally that was, I mean, I could just walk out of the house right now after a quick shower. So for this, guys, we're just gonna go ahead and bring the hair down, again like this, and see, I mean, this literally, I could bite my hair. My hair has never been this long. This is pretty ridiculous. And so what we want to do is we want to chop it about maybe nose level. So again, very simple. You don't have to, you know, I mean, you can get all like, you know, feathery, tethery with it. But, you know, I mean, guys, a haircut's a haircut, you know. I mean, you can really get crazy with it. But if you want to get that crazy with it, I would go see a Vidal Sassoon, you know, salon or Tony and Guy or whatever. But anyway, enough talking, more cutting. So let's just go ahead and chop it off right here like that. So we got a nice little, nice little little section off right there and again I mean if you guys want to get really crazy with it you know just grab it like this you know and you can even you know literally 
literally, you know, just kind of tether the outsides of it, you know, get all crazy with it if you really want to. But even that, just guys, even that much off just feels fantastic. It was just getting way, way too long. And see, as we kind of part it on the side right here, you know, we want to get rid of just a little bit more here, kind of even it out a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of a lot of this long, long portions in the back. Because what we want to do is we want to fold it back. Again, I need to train my hair and even maybe use some relaxer like I talked about because my hair kind of just wants to fold this way. And as the shorter it gets, it's, you know, you got a lot less weight on there. So see how the back of my hair is completely crazy long still. So what we need to do, guys, is we need to come up here like this. And what you do is you get it between your fingertips like this, and you just kind of just hack at it a little bit like this, bring it up again with your fingers, in between your fingers, and then that way you can see the length of it, and so you're not just like bringing it up and chopping it. So again, bring it up like this, chop off these big strands here, and then just continue over like this, chop these guys off here like that, and again, just continue to do that over and over. That way you can see what the length is. And again, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. It just has to look good, guys. That's the whole basic of a haircut, look good. So again, we're gonna come up here, chippity choppity away. And again, we're gonna do that completely all to the back side here. And what we wanna do is we wanna get about maybe halfway on my scalp. We don't wanna touch the long part that way. This long part, once this is, once the back is shorter, the long part is going to drape over the back again. I need to straighten my hair, but the back is going to drape over just like Brad Pitt's. It's going to drape over the short hair back here. All right, guys. So it's not perfect, but it's getting there. And again, it all depends upon, to tell you the honest truth, it all depends upon genetics, your hair. Now you can straighten your hair, but genetics play a factor in... See how my hairline right here is a lot more receded than Brad Pitt's. Brad Pitt has that completely amazing square. Let's look at the photo one more time. You see that square? I mean, it's literally just boom. It's like the perfect hairline. Now, I can show you guys a couple things. If you're a little bit older like I am, I'm 32. I've had this same hairline since I was probably 23. Again, it all depends upon nutrition, stress, etc. But what does help Nioxin, guys. Nioxin, I'm using number two, fine hair, noticeably thinning, shampoo and conditioner a couple times a week. I'll link that in the description box. That is an amazing product, guys. Definitely, definitely well. Now, as you can see, it's definitely not perfect. One of my biggest pet peeves on my own hair, and I see other guys as well, is you see this back here, guys? You see this right here? This is uh, something that I definitely don't like. Now, the front of the hair can be styled really nicely like this, right? And again, it depends how much you know you put your hand through your hair, etc. Um, I'll show you a couple techniques here in just a second, but back here needs to be trimmed up. So what I like to do is after I cut my hair, I style my hair, and then you look it over, and then if you have any scragglies back here, you go ahead and chop those scragglies. But my biggest pet peeve is what the back looks like. Now everyone walks around like this, and they walk around front, they look all confident, they look good, but then Back here, you can just have these like weird scragglies that you're like, what is going on with the back of your hair? So guys, style up your hair and then look around back and then trim this stuff. Get rid of all this stuff right here that's just totally out of place. So I'm gonna finish up with that. Now, real quickly guys, again, it's not definitely not perfect, but it's getting there. I could use some hair relaxer to make this even straighter, but you can train your hair. Now something that I do definitely recommend is these are the products that I used in my hair right now. So first and foremost, a little bit damp. I used a little bit of this. This is Garnet Super Strong Hold right here. And then I went for just a little bit of the J. Crew Pomade and then a little bit of the whatever you pronounce that. Now this is probably overkill, but what I did do is I used the hair dryer on low setting. Well, if you're gonna use J. Crew, just use a small tiny bit of it. But the main thing is if it's wet, you want to get it kind of that dry look, just like Brad has. So what I do is I put it on low, and then you're just going to kind of comb it back like this. So 
So do that until you get kind of the desired kind of texture look. And then again, guys, you go ahead and just play with it with your fingers a little bit. You can use your comb a little bit, but again, it's all about the kind of the correct spacing. So you just kind of use your fingers, kind of get them up there, like <clears throat> kind of get them through there like that. Now again, guys, it's not perfect. I still have to mess around with this right here. This is just absurd. You could use a brush and kind of, you know, get that there. Well, what you want, and again, some of you guys might be saying your top is too tall. Well, again, guys, I mean, it can fold down. You just got to, it's all about how you style it. So again, you can kind of bring that down a little bit like that. Now, too tall, you kind of look like the last of the Mohicans. You know what I'm saying? But you just want to kind of get it down just nicely. Anyway, so that is pretty much the basics. If you guys want to go a little bit shorter, again, this is a short two all the way up to my top here. If you guys want to go a little bit shorter, you could try a one. And a one would be more like Brad Pitt. This, again, is a short two. Again, it depends upon your scalp. It depends upon the kind of the look you want. But again, that's pretty much the basics. And again, I'll link all this stuff in the description box. I'll link some of this guys here. I'll link even the Niaxin shampoo for your hairline there. And I'll link the hair trimmer as well with the attachments. And guys, it is a little bit of an investment, first and foremost, when you're first starting. But again, guys, over the course of what, like maybe two haircuts pays for everything and you're gonna to continue to cut your own hair later down the road. So again, it's up to you guys, it depends where you go. I mean, all this stuff is probably less than one haircut at some of these beauty salons, but if you're going to a cheap $10 barber, that's a whole different story, but you might not get this. Moral of the story is, start with a little bit and then work your way in. You can always go shorter, but you can never go longer. Anyway guys, hope the video helped. Look in the description box below. I'll have a lot more videos talking about just what to do, shampooing your hair if you're a little bit older like me, young 30s, how to take care of your hair, what nutrition to take, fish oil, etc. How to dry your hair after the shower to keep your hairline, guys, for those who are thinning. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. Subscribe, guys. Bye-bye.